Hey guys, today we're going to do a 20 minute dumbbell only upper body workout. We're going to do 10 exercises in total. That's going to be two per muscle group. So we're going to start with two for the shoulders, two for the back, two for the chest, two for the biceps, two for the triceps. Then we start at the last exercise and work our way back up. And they're going to be 45 seconds each exercise. Now, as far as dumbbell goes, I got some lighter ones and some slightly heavier ones here, but use what you got. Some of these exercises are not going to take much weight because 45 seconds is going to seem like a very long time. So we're going to start with the dreaded shoulder ones and we're going to start with some seated shoulder presses. So I'm going to use the lighter ones for this because we're going straight into some side lateral raises afterwards and they're going to burn like hell. So pop the dumbbells up in position and three, two, one, away we go. All right, you're going to start off nice and easy and it's going to get progressively tougher. And the thing about working the time is there's no point in rushing the exercise slow and controlled. If you rush it, it's not going to be done any quicker. It's still going to be 45 seconds either way. Shoulders starting to get tired already. And again, this is reasonably light, these dumbbells. Nothing crazy. And stop. Good job. Okay, next exercise you're going to do is a side lateral raise. So again, lighter ones are advised. Start with the dumbbells about a centimeter off the floor. Raise them up to your ears and bring them back down a centimeter off the floor. All right, don't let them touch the floor as best you can. And this one, you're going to burn out very quickly. So by doing them on the floor and not allowing the dumbbells to touch the floor, you eliminate any subconscious effort to try and swing them up or to try and get any kind of rest time between reps. It makes it pretty damn tough and it makes these light dumbbells feel really heavy in absolutely no time. And stop. Okay, so now forget we're going on the back exercises next. We're going to start with a bent over row here. So we'll go a little heavier for these. We're going to do both dumbbells at the same time. So we tilt forward in position, core engaged, and we're going to squeeze them up towards us. Draw those shoulder blades back. Don't let the arms lock out when you bring them back down. So don't let the weight pull your posture out of sync. When you bring it back, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Don't just jerk them up. And stop. Okay, up next we've got a high pull. So you can either take both dumbbells and pull them up towards you, or if you've got a heavy enough one, just take the one, grab it like so, kind of pull it up towards the chin, keeping the elbows up nice and high, and away we go. Again, core strong. Don't let the dumbbell pull you forward. Don't arch the back. Keep the abs engaged. Put those elbows up pretty high. And the dumbbell coming up just to your chin and back down again. And stop. So now we're on to the chest and we're going to start the chest exercises with a old traditional push-up. Okay, so you can go box push-ups if you can't, can't quite manage full ones. But if you can, go up in a high plank position and away we go. Lower yourself down, push yourself back up. Keep the head in line with the spine so don't push the head forward to give you the illusion of more depth. 
Again, don't rush them. 45 seconds is 45 seconds. Whether you go fast or not. Up. Good job. So now we're going on the crossover. So grab the dumbbells. We're going to do stand tall. Going to keep the pecs flexed, and we're going to squish them in just like so. So minimal movement. Really engage the pecs here, guys. Squeeze it in. Contract the muscle as much as you can, and alternate from side to side. So there's no bend in the elbow. All about flexing those pecs. Real tight squeeze in the middle. And stop now. On some bicep work now, so we're gonna grab some dumbbells here. Lighter ones may be a good idea for these. We're gonna do bend over curls. So we tilt from the hips, from the shoulder to the elbow doesn't move, and we pull them up in line with our temples and back down. So no movement, no swinging in any of the body at all. Shoulder to the elbow does not move, it stays perfectly still. Slow on the way down, slow on the way up. Start with the arms straighten, curl them up either side of your head, the temples. And again, these are pretty light dumbbells, but better do it light and do it right. And stop. Now we're going to go over to the wall next to do some wall curls. So. Again, reason behind this, we're going to keep the triceps nice and flat against the wall. So the arms don't lift off. And we're going to curl up towards us. But don't let those elbows or triceps leave the wall. One of the things people do a lot when they're doing bicep curls is they swing their elbows into it to try and get that dumbbell up to the shoulder. Well, your bicep should be restricting the movement so a dumbbell shouldn't be able to get to the shoulder unless you lift those elbows up with it and we're trying to eliminate that as best we can and stop now we're going to go some close grip tricep push-ups these are not nice. 45 seconds of these is going to be tough. Take your time. If you need to do box ones, that's cool. But hands, shoulder width apart, on your tippy toes, elbows in tight, down and up. So you don't touch the floor. You come down about one centimeter above it. And you come back up. But keep those elbows in tight. Don't let them slip out to the side. Now, you're going to go on overhead tricep press, so slightly heavier one with this if you have it at your disposal. Diamond grip around this, so grip the top, the head of the dumbbell, bring it down behind, and now we're going to fully straighten the arms, shoulder the elbows don't move. Imagine you're trying to scratch the center of your back with a dumbbell.
Yeah, and slow and control. Core engaged, so we're not arching the back. Not allowing the dumbbell to pull us backwards and bend the back. It stays nice and still. So we got a vertical plank situation going here. And stop. Okay, so quick shake out. Starting with those again, and we're working our way back down through the exercises. So, get that dumbbell back up in position and ready to overhead tricep press. Away we go. So, on the way back down, the ladder here is going to be pretty tough. Especially in those triceps, they're not going to like it. We get those close grip push ups, as you'll soon find out. This is why I suggest go light enough initially. Before you try and go too heavy with these, this will burn. And stop. Okay, on those dreaded close grips. Again, quick shake out. Get the lactic acid out there. Ready to go. This one's going to be tough. So if you need to drop the box push ups, that's okay. Hands in tight, elbows in tight, and away we go. Triceps should be screaming at this stage. Nine are anyway. And stop. Now, come back to those wall curls next. So. Grab your dumbbells, adjust your hat, go to the wall, triceps against the wall, and away we go. Pull them up towards you, but don't try and get them to your shoulder. Just keep that tricep flat against the wall. Keep your shoulders pinned back. Try and keep the head back as well. Bicep is a relatively small muscle group, so it tries to seek help from the big ones. This is why you sometimes are better going light and isolating it. Make sure that's doing all the work. And there's no momentum involved I'm trying to swing these bad boys up. And stop. Okay, so we're back to the bent over. Bicep curls. Again, feel feeling tough for the second time around. Biceps are pretty exhausted after those wall curls. Tilt from the hips, and away we go. Back nice and flat, soft knees, core engaged. Should be getting a good burn right about now. No matter what dumbbells you're lifting. Like I said, these ones are pretty light compared to what I would usually be lifting during a bicep workout, but you can certainly feel the pump with a lighter weight and higher reps. And stop now. On to the chest exercises next. We're gonna go into our crossovers. Dumbbells in hand. Start with the left, we're going to squeeze the pack in, and back, and on to the other side. So it's a very small range of mo movement here, but if you're doing it right, you're going to get a hell of a squeeze in the packs, 
Just make sure you're thinking about the muscle grip that you're trying to work. Now we're trying to work the pecs. Contracting the pec, squeezing it in, and swapping sides. And stop, now we're into the push-ups. Again, they're gonna feel tougher this time around. Now everything's very exhausted. So, high plank position, take your time with these. Three, two, one, and away we go. Just think about quality of reps rather than quantity of reps here. Stop. Now we're going into a high row. High pull, call it what you will. Have your dumbbell if you got it. And three, two, one. Let's go. And stop. So now then the bend over rows. Tilting from the hips. Gauging the core. And three, two, one. And away we go. Upper body should be well pumped by now. There shouldn't be many muscle grips left. Unscorched by the burn. And stop. Ah, it's time. The headphones. Okay, so we got our side level raises next. And they ain't gonna be nice. And away we go. Just try not to let those dumbbells hit the floor. Sounds easy, but it's not. Up. And finally we got our seated shoulder press. We're not gonna feel even tougher after that. Last 45 seconds. Let's do this. And away we go. At this stage those shoulders should be screaming. 
Don't listen to them. They're only gonna hold you back. Ten seconds. And stop. And we're done. Oh. Hopefully you guys felt the burn as much as I did there. It's all the upper body. Oh. Well and truly burnt out in 20 quick minutes. Remember guys, if you like the workout you saw today, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you never miss a Zeus Fitness workout again. Also check out our 260 something workouts we got on there. Something in there for everybody. Good luck guys, leave your comments below, and I'll see you soon.